Hey guys, so we're done at Baker Creek. It was a really, really beautiful time. We're back in Arkansas and I'm getting the tour today. Yeah. The tour of Little Rock? Yeah, going to some of our favorite places. We just had lunch at like my favorite local place. It was a really route. Good. And we're gonna go into some local stores and then we're gonna go thrifting. Yes. My my thrifting haunts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One day, I want to own a freestanding coffee shop, chicken, permaculture, bakery, and this is the kind of floor that I would want in my coffee shop. Also, check out how cool these bookcases are. They are not original, but they are true to the time period. They're absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I've just been informed that here it works by weight, so. All right, we got a, a little worn out from thrifting so hard and finding <laughs> some real Goodwill gold. So it's time for coffee. <laughs> Just stopped really quickly, so quickly <laughs> that I thought we were getting pulled over. But no, it's to look at plants, of course. We're just out here at a local nursery, and I just love how inspiring nurseries can be. And nurseries often remind me of my dad. That's actually something that we would go do together, is we would go look at plants and decor at garden centers. And so, basically, anytime I visit a garden center, I think of my dad, and it's just a sweet way to connect with him, even though he's passed on. So one thing I love about going to nurseries, kind of like I was already saying, they remind me of my dad, which is really nice, but I love getting decor ideas from nurseries because they just pair everything so well together and just gets me really excited to decorate the garden. I'm really excited to create that enchanted theme. If you guys saw the premiere of the garden bed build and the live that followed that, you guys know that I'm really gonna be going for like this enchanted theme because I just love the idea of a secret garden and a secret place to just be and to just soak in the goodness of the garden and to meet with the Lord in the morning. And so that's really exciting to me. Um, and so I see these little decor things and I don't know if this is what happens for you guys, but I see all these like cool rain chains and wind chimes and I just get really excited to go back home and then find these things back home or make them back home and decorate my garden with them. I'm really excited to get back home to my garden and to decorate it and to just enjoy the peaceful presence of just being in a cozy place in the garden. So I just saw this giant carpenter bee. Another thing I find really fascinating about garden centers is what kind of pollinators they attract. And I also love the way garden centers display water features. So that's actually one of the things I wanna to add to my garden as well, is I wanna add a couple different water features for birds, but also for pollinators. And I just love gathering ideas while I'm out here. So let's take a look at what they have going on. Here's kind of a very minimalistic idea. A bit more of an industrial feel. I prefer more of that stone kind of look like this one. And of course, I love anything black because Tommy said that if I could grow some really cool dark black things that he would get out in the garden more with me. Hey, can I, can I put you in my vlog for a second? Oh, but I'm looking at a black plant and black plants always make me think of you. It's black elephant ear. That's super cool. Oh my goodness. I wonder if I can transport this back somehow. That would be really a hassle. Oh, that would be cool for the enchanted garden kind of vibe. And one of the first plants I learned how to grow was elephant ear because it was just growing naturally at our first apartment. And today I have found not just elephant ear, but black elephant ear. It is called black magic elephant ear, which is pretty neat.
Now I just need to find that back home. What'd you find, Jess? Variegated basil and variegated oregano, which I've been on the hunt for like all of the variegated herbs and basil has been the one I've had a really hard time finding. So I'm super pumped to have found this. It smells so good. My love. <laughs> <laughs> My beautiful. <laughs> So we just got back and we are planting all of the variegated plants in the front of the garden. And by we, and by we, I mean I am Ben's assistant. He is the master gardener and I am simply the assistant. Are you digging me? People have been asking me, don't you miss being at home? Don't you miss your family? And of course the answer is yes. Gary. This is Gary, and Gary reminds me so much of my bear back at home. Are you? Are you my buddy? It's time to go meet the horses. <laughs> Well, feeding the horses was really fun. It was fun to get to meet them this time. The ride there was fun, but getting to meet the horses and feed them and love on them a little bit was really fun as well. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you've enjoyed Arkansas from my perspective and the Roots and Refuge Farm from my perspective. I'm very tired and it's been a long day, full of fun, but nonetheless a long day. So I'm gonna call it a day. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you guys next time. Get low. <laughs> Join me down here <laughs> in the realm of the, the five footers. <laughs>